you go along the beach any day and you'll see someone has written a heart and two initials or someone has drawn some obscene <laughs> outline of sexual organs in the <laughs> state of arousal and you think oh my god <laughs> they want to do it don't they there's some sort of thing like carving the desk at school with your initials or the rude thing about the teacher and so there's somewhere there's something really basic wanting to burst out make my mark you know <laughs> i had the job of creating a workshop and creating a poem i was given the word literal because that was the name that going west brought to me which means this the area between the land and the sea you know it shifts with the tide and at first i thought i can try and write a poem about the literal but you know i was sinking into the same place that i feared students would so i started to think the important thing is the poem on the sand it's going to look good it's got to look good you know so i started to think about images sand and you know the hourglass and time i started to just play with words but then i thought of that that's the shape so i sort of writing into that shape of bringing it down like the sand is running out and running out so so i kind of worked my way like a little worm tunneling away <laughs> until i got to this point and thought this is possible and then i thought it would be fun for the students so it's really a poem for looking at more than reading out loud but i can try <laughs> literal literal litter under sand and in us oh look a star above lights literal literal i'm murray edmund i was a reaper in the tempest when i was 13 and i just went on so i worked as an actor and a director and a writer and sometimes i teach <laughs> The thing about the sand is it's not held really, isn't it? No. That's the thing about the sand, the sand, it's, sand it's falling apart. Yeah. yeah. So it's like this is very contained and then it just goes out. So this other one was just up and out and up and out. Just going in <laughs> That's nice actually, isn't it? Uh, maybe I'll just stick with this one. I love that. <laughs> for that particular workshop, I really looked for some provocations and a task which would be simple, short, quick. And you know, we know haiku, and we know sonnet, and we know ballad. So actually the form is always lurking for us. Okay, so it's a short time, and I've therefore suggested some forms you might like to work into. I just picked four things that began with the letter C, because we're beside the sea, so we may as well make sea poems. That's the kind of nonsense poets do. Couplets, I thought, are fun. And some people have that satirical bent of mind where they like to have a sort of joke inside little things. Letters weaved in sand by love, by a wave, are unwove. The calligram is actually kind of a subset of a concrete poem. I mean, the concrete poem is really when you just make the look of the poem as meaningful as what the words say. And then I found this sankain, which I didn't really know about. It goes two syllables, four syllables, six syllables, eight syllables, two syllables. So it goes <laughs> back like that. But I thought that'll be fun to do because it's such a sort of formulaic thing that you can almost put anything you like into it. Commas, eh? Commas. Mm. I was thinking that the girl itself was making oh. the shape of a comet oh. in the sky. Oh, I see what you mean. But it's always interesting to write into form rather than out of inspiration, you know? The form's out there and you go into it. But your inspiration is meant to be sort of pulled out of you, isn't it? I thought that it would be easier if I gave them a container and then they could just pour into it what they liked rather than saying think of a poem you know what inspires you some people would be happy and they'd probably write for three quarters of an hour without stopping <laughs> and some people would probably go into frozen panic 
It's like musicians, you want to see what it's like, you know, to play a sonata or to play just a little exercise. And it's different, the whole rhythm of that, the breath you take in the beginning to get through that big work or the small work, you know. Looking at what's being written on the sand at the moment, the provocation seemed to have given people a start, but we, we just needed something to get going. And I hope they can take something away and think, oh, I can use this in my writing, which is a lifetime's work for everyone. So my poem is really easy, it goes up and out, and up and out, and up and out. <laughs> Let me know who you are, why you are with me here as I die happy in the sea alone. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Unfurling waves embrace a single grain of sand summoning memories of ghost-like laughter vanishing at dusk. Tide rises, bringing flotsam, plastic bottles, condoms, glass, lurid toys, bass guitar, lost child, turns tide. By day, words they protrude. By nightfall, overlook, seize them, feel them, treasure them all with love. So now that we have uh, put all our poems out, uh, by night it'll, it probably will be washed away. So while it's still here, seize them, feel them, treasure them. Yeah. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you.